many Terrace residents awoke to a rather unearthly sound, which was heard around parts of the city at around 7.30 this morning. The sound lasted for roughly 10 minutes and was recorded by many people. Similar sounds have been reported all over the world in recent years, including in Russia, the United Kingdom and the United States. Tropical storm Kong Ray has dumped more than 500 millimeters of rain on Taiwan. Officials have stated a total of 3,600 residents have been evacuated. Trains and airplanes have been cancelled, as so far three people have died. Flood water was reported to be up to second story level in some places. Kong Ray is the second tropical storm to hit this month. Forecasters say torrential rain could continue across Taiwan. building is swept away in a giant landslide caused by continuous heavy rains in South China's Guangxi region. A powerful earthquake has hit a mountainous area in southwestern China. The magnitude 5.9 quake occurred just after 8 a.m. local time on Saturday. Four people were killed and several injured. Landslides in Yunnan province triggered by the earthquake. Major 7.0 magnitude earthquake rocked Alaska's Aleutian Islands Friday. Neighbors say a jet-like rumble shook homes and sent several people scrambling for cover. Several aftershocks followed the large earthquake, including one that was recorded as 4.5 magnitude. A extremely hot weather is gripping eastern Iowa, and while we're sweating and crops are wilting, the heat is also affecting Iowa's lakes and rivers. The fish aren't biting. Maybe that's because thousands of them are dead. Now it's a snake-filled pit of fish carcasses. Biologists are trying to unravel a mystery in northeastern New Mexico. More than 100 elk found dead on a ranch about 20 miles north of Las Vegas. For a gruesome discovery on the sprawling 75,000 acre Buena Vista ranch near Mora. A massive die off of more than 100 elk within one square mile. The elk weren't shot, so Game and Fish is investigating just what caused the deaths, which seemed to happen overnight. Up and down the East Coast, hundreds of dead dolphins have been washing up on the shores, particularly here in Virginia Beach. Now, experts simply don't know what is causing all of these hundreds of dolphins to die. This is by far the most uh, serious event that I've ever seen. The suburbs of Tokyo have been hit by a rare tornado that swept through Noda City and Koshigaya on Monday, damaging hundreds of homes, cutting off power to tens of thousands of people and injuring 30. Eyewitnesses said they'd never seen anything like it, and the unprecedented event took everyone by surprise. The scale of the damage from what appears to be a tornado is practically unheard of in the Tokyo suburb. The tornado, witnessed by many, hit several suburban towns outside the Japanese capital. Just before 6 a.m. on September 4th, KLKN's HD Tower Cam 8 gave Channel 8's morning meteorologist Sean McMullen a less than normal view. I, I've never seen anything like this before. I, I even say that several times uh, while I'm on air describing the object uh, because I want to let people know that, you know, even I don't know what this is, so I can't exactly tell you what it is. The triangular shaped flashing object appears to be floating above the capital city. By the time the sun comes up, we can't see it anymore. A Channel 8 viewer captured similar footage. It's an unidentified object. We don't know 
what it is. Another description of a triangular shaped object was seen that morning, a couple hours earlier, in Lee's Summit, Missouri. And we've thrown around a flying lantern, a hot air balloon, Jupiter, or even an aircraft, but so far nothing's added up. It's not every day you're hanging out in school, only to be struck by a huge tornado. This is the second tornado to strike northern Tokyo in the last week and has been rated F2 on the Fujitia scale. Thousands of homes have been damaged and local police said that at least 60 people have been injured after the twister tore through the suburban areas of the city. And last night, if you saw what looked like a, a ball of fire across the sky, well, it turns out that it was a baseball-sized fragment of a comet. It appears to have broken a pause above Woodstock, Alabama. It was traveling at a speed of 76,000 miles per hour, burning so bright that it was 15 times brighter than the planet Venus. A lot of people reported their house shaking or sonic booms. Uh, radar shows a number of impacts across the state of Alabama. So this one's a little unusual that it came uh, only 20 miles up, so you have the reports of the sonic boom. Bright. It was brighter than the moon. Uh, very interesting. It is something that you do not see every day. But we're going to turn now to what's being called biblical flooding across Colorado. Residents said they've never seen anything like it. The image is just shocking. Homes up to their roofs with water. Rescuers using canoes to get people to safety. People have been killed and thousands evacuated. Boulder County, Colorado is underwater. Torrential rains causing flash flooding. It has been pouring here all night and it's still coming down. It's those rainfall totals that are sometimes coming up with almost half a year's rain in just a matter of hours. Officials are ordering mandatory evacuation. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This level of flooding is unprecedented. I've never seen it like this. In some areas, entire homes collapsed. It's unusual weather patterns brought half a year's worth of rain in just a few hours. This is scary. This is really scary. Monstrous fire that destroyed a great American boardwalk and this evening the blaze still smoldering more than 24 hours later. 30 shops which spent months and millions of dollars rebuilding after Hurricane Sandy, gone. And the fire finished the job that Sandy started. 30 mile per hour winds pushed the flames north into seaside heights. It's where last year that iconic roller coaster ended up in the bay following Superstorm Sandy. It took months of work and eight million dollars to rebuild this boardwalk, only to see it destroyed for a second time. Of some of the worst flooding to hit Mexico in decades. At least 80 people have died and thousands have lost their homes after days of torrential rain brought on by two tropical storms. Landslides have claimed many of the victims, their homes buried beneath tons of mud. With extensive damage to the country's roads and bridges, many areas have been cut off. In the Mexican beach resort of Acapulco, burst rivers brought with them alligators swimming onto the city's streets. Police have also reported looting, where everything from televisions to Halloween decorations have been taken. The raging waters are the result of two storms converging and drenching nearly two-thirds of the country. For one of the worst natural disasters in the country's history. The death toll is expected to rise and the rain is yet to stop. Harper's Bridge on the west side of the Missoula Valley. It's one of the spots Fish, Wildlife and Parks officials say they found a number of dead deer. People are seeing healthy looking deer instantly fall over dead. Cases are also being reported in New Mexico and North Dakota. The world's strongest typhoon this year has killed at least 25 people in southern China and paralyzed Hong Kong's airports, leaving hundreds of travelers stranded. Typhoon Yusegi, which means rabbit in Japanese, swept through Guangdong province, bringing heavy rain and winds of more than 180 kilometers an hour. The typhoon created giant waves reaching eight meters tall, forcing some villages to be evacuated. A massive 7.8 magnitude earthquake hit Pakistan this morning, killing dozens. The death toll has risen to 350. 
Hundreds more are hurt. Thousands are homeless. This earthquake was so powerful that the force of these shifting plates created a new mini island in the Arabian Sea. But you can see there in the center of the screen kind of that mound. Well, the seabed shot up out of the ocean during the earthquake about 600 yards off the coast of Pakistan. And this quake created a new island off the coast. It's quite a large island too, over 600 feet long and 65 feet high. Boatloads of bewildered residents have traveled to see the rare phenomenon, despite warnings against visiting. And strong aftershock continue to shake southwest Pakistan this morning. A magnitude 7 earthquake shook the southern coast of Peru on Wednesday. The quake struck 46 kilometers deep in the Pacific Ocean. It shook buildings in the capital Lima, 500 kilometers away, and was also felt in northern Chile. Five days ago, a strong quake hit southwestern Pakistan, leaving a trade of death and destruction. Now, the same area has been rattled by another tremor. There is a 7.2 uh, magnitude of uh, earthquake which has hit, according to Pakistan Meteorological Department. Avaran district was severely hit by the first quake on Tuesday. Over 500 people lost their lives. The area is faced with shortages of food, drinking water and medical supplies as temperatures reach 42 degrees Celsius. So we've got some news just coming in from Japan where the radiation reading at a water tank at the ruined Fukushima nuclear power plant has risen by 18 times. TEPCO officials say one of Saturday's readings was 1,800 millisieverts per hour. Radiation at this level can kill a person in four hours. In another area, radioactivity of 230 millisieverts per hour was measured at a puddle underneath a pipe connecting tanks. A study indicates that radioactive water will contaminate the entire Pacific Ocean in just six years. Well, a new government study shows millions of people who live along the coast of California are at risk for a possible tsunami. At least 30 people have been killed in floods in Cambodia as hit and rains have drowned provinces along the Mekong River. A powerful earthquake with a magnitude of 7.8. It is a massive earthquake months. killing hundreds, leaving thousands more injured and homeless. On the biblical flooding across Colorado. Residents said they've never seen anything more like it. 70 people are missing. South China. Typhoon wootip has been lashing the region. 70,000 people have already been evacuated. After several recent deadly disasters, for meteors to enter the Earth's Very atmosphere. A bright fireball, no doubt. The sun is moving toward a big change in its magnetic field. In fact, the poles are about to switch. How realistic is this scenario that a tsunami hits the California coast? Well, this is an absolutely inevitable scenario. Meanwhile, Russia is reportedly moving warships closer to Syria. After an earthquake of similar magnitude. Israel has tested a missile defense system in the Mediterranean, causing a brief spike in tension in a region currently seeing a buildup of military force. As the U.S. positions itself for an expected attack on Syria. Israeli officials say they are ready if the country is targeted with missiles by Syria or its pro-Iranian ally Hezbollah. The military is on a state of alert. Reserves have been called up. Your Syrian military officials saying this. If Syria is attacked, Israel will also be set on fire. And Iran is watching closely to gauge international response. The affirmative task we have now is to actually um, uh, create uh, uh, a new world order. We have before us the opportunity to forge for ourselves and for future generations. A new world order. When we are successful, and we will be, we have a real chance at this new world order.